Good morning. It's April 21st, Sunday. We're coming off of two days in Zone 5B, Colorado, of really cold and wet temperatures. We had snow, we had ice, we had fog. Um, it was 27 degrees last night and, uh, you know, pretty much uh, zero visibility on the freeways and the bulbs seem to take it all especially some of these daffodils and uh, and tulips that have really strong stems i've got to start with this one here um, in the landscape and in pots i mean this is massive like th this is one daffodil um it's bigger than the palm of my hand um and it is called sherborne uh, it has a beautiful yellow color and kind of a, an orangey um, ruffles inside of there. I mean, and the stem, I mean, the stem is just like a, like a wooden rod there. It, it's huge and it does well in the landscape and it's doing well in the pots. Um, it, it's just the, the stellar success of the year so far. Here's another one, you know, again, huge. And now we're in the front, uh, in the front bed. We've got some, um, some bearded iris coming up from last year along with um, some new ones that I had popped in here that seem to be taken. Now you can see these ones that have this, these like kind of flat leaves. Look at this interesting um, allium that I've got coming up with the variegated foliage. Uh, we've got a bunch of daffodils over here. We've got a bunch of tulips. Um, some of these uh, tulips that are coming back are little splits of um, blushing apple dorm, which you can see right here that are kind of a yellow color that has a little bit of an orangey blush um, that varies. Here's some more. Um, I had put in a hundred um, two years ago and some are coming back. Um, look, you can even see some lilies coming up um, and some peonies are doing well. I got some Valerie Finis um, Muscari. Uh, these are the exotic, exotic emperors, which have been, uh, like I didn't even get any, almost, I got almost no blooms on them last year, I think because I didn't water them enough. Um, the hyacinths are pretty much done and gone. I mean, you can see I mostly focused on, on the blue colors um, up here, either blue, blue delft or um, blue jacket. A few others. Um, I am just going to have to plant next year um, a lot less deeply and mulch more heavily. That does seem to be what um, what I, the more research I do on tulips, what they really want. Here inside the lawn itself, we've got a couple of little um, of little muscari, and then we've got Preston's shogun, S H O G U N. It's a species tulip. Um, uh, they definitely want some water in the springtime and they have gotten it in spades in the last several weeks. It has served them really well um, to do like a little stins in planting. All right, now here you'll see what I mean about just some of the daffodils. Um, you know, like with these <laughs> with these really big, I think these ones are white lion. Um, like they, they didn't survive um, just the massive wind and the weighing down um, with all the water. So I'm actually gonna cut these and bring them inside um, while they still have a bit of life to them. Um, the tulips are just, look at this, coming up in full bloom. We've got some lily flowering ones. We've got some parrots here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we've got, here's another parrot. We've got some doubles, especially the um, the yellow doubles and the orange doubles seem to be part of this mix that I've been, uh, that I popped in here this year. Got a lot more kind of reds. Um, what's interesting is that all these ones down here, there's a lot of ad rem um, in there. And I know, I think I had some palata and various other ones. Um, but they definitely came up with more of a with a more of a pinkish look than I had expected, even though they do have this like golden sort of orange on the outside. Um, but wow, how incredibly pretty <laughs> in the back here. These are just, you know, leftovers from uh, uh, that were in pots and stuff from the year before. Um, you can see some perennials coming back. Hopefully um, this one here is a hydrangea. Hopefully that one's coming back. Might see a little artemisia there. Um, we've got some uh, cone flowers. Um, don't know if, how they will do. Um, yeah, in the back, allium um, interspersed with some tulips. Um, you know, just at the end of the planting part, you know, you're just looking for places to shove your bulbs because you need to get them into the ground at a certain point. But um, it, this place just looks wonderful. 
Um, I'm definitely going to keep putting things into the lawn itself. Uh, it just makes it so much fun. Uh, and this is sort of my, my little merry-go-round of various uh, tulips and daffodils and things that have, that have gone into the yard generally, along with a dianthus that overwintered. And I'm pretty sure this little purple one here is a Valerie Finnis. Um, you can see some, oh, it might be white purissima. Um, yeah, but boy, we just have flowers coming up. I'll leave you with this view here and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.